Okay, so this is our basic op amp inverting amplifier circuit. Um, well, what you're seeing here is really it's this, where we have our op amp, which is that IC, and then we have an input here, which over here is across here, which is the signal generator, which is outputting. It's at 100 hertz right now. So, on the oscilloscope, after going through our inverting amplifier, you can see on channel 1, that's the output of our amplifier, and channel 2 is the input. Since it's an inverting amplifier, you can see they're 180 degrees out of phase. And you can see we've got a pretty good gain going right there. So, one interesting thing to note is if we turn up the amplitude on our input source, You can see we turn up the amplitude of the input, of course the output gets bigger, but if you turn up enough, oh, okay, so I'm just changing the scale. Um, now you can see the output doesn't look bigger than the input, but it really is. If we keep turning up the input amplitude, see, now we have clipping on the output because the op amp can only you know, it can only amplify so much. Uh, looks like 27 volts, which is the pretty much the accumulation of the power to the op amp, which is from 15 to negative 15. That's about 30 volts. 27, so you know that's pretty close. That's good. one volt, which our op amp likes a lot better.